welcome to this video today i'm going to talk about arrays in c so first of all what is an array so an array is a group of memory locations related by the fact that they all have the same name and the same type that's the same data type so today i'm going to teach you how to initialize arrays in c that's the first one initializing arrays with loops that's a for loop and initializing arrays with initializers list and finally initializing arrays to a particular pattern first first of all create an array in c so we are going to give it a type that's int i'll call it array then in square brackets don't forget this very important to give the size of your array so in square brackets create an array of 10 elements give it the size of 10 and then with our semicolon we end this the first method i previously said that's the for loop that's initializing this array by using a loop and then so in this method i'm going to use that the loop and the counter i so to initialize this i'll say for i equals zero what i will do in this for loop will be very simple so we take our array and then we index into it as using the same square brackets you index into this array now with and go to the position i and set it to zero then semicolon close so um i didn't use the uh, curly braces here because i'm just using uh, there's just one statement in this for loop but if you want to use it it's always advisable to use it as a programming tip always use your curl brackets but in this case i might i will not use it because i know there was only one statement after and then now let's print this array out for us to see clearly if our array if the array has been created and well initialized so to print this i'll just i'll just do percentage columns so let me start we have the for loop i will still use the i i equals zero brackets i'll just print straight forward as print percentage seven to give seven spaces then z and uh, percentage 13 d so here yeah, i'm going to print i and also i'm going to index into the element in the array so that array and i'm going to print the i element at this moment so don't forget when loop here we're iterating on the array so we're printing the first second third fourth and that's how we are going to print all the elements in this array and then i simply return a value here so i'll return zero okay let me build and run and then run oh sorry i forgot the backslash in um while iterating so it's okay i'm going to build and run this okay so we clearly see elements in our array and their values initializing arrays with initializer list so this element the elements of an array can also be initialized when the array is defined uh, by the is defined by the following definition with an equal sign that's an equal sign here now i'm going to initialize this array by initializing initializer list 
so i'll delete it and just print the array it will still contain 10 elements but now with the quality signs and my braces i'll initialize the array and i'll set the values to an any random value i want that's depending on what i want to do so yeah i'll set the five okay so now you will notice that um i have set this array uh to that just six elements but the array size is 10 and i'm going to print all in this for so you will notice that all the elements in this array which have not been initialized will be automatically set to zero by default that's the default way of uh, setting all of the elements okay so here the i not declare sorry so that's the default way of doing this and now when i when i build and run okay so we are going to see that the elements in the array so we are going to see that the elements in the array are one from zero to nine and each has a value from six to ten the values are zero so that was this then this is the second method of initializing it might be useful when you want specific values in at specific positions in the array but now let's initialize this array uh use the third method i specified as initializing the array in a particular pattern for example if i want to initialize this array to a set of even numbers now that you have seen this initialization you can pause this video and try to do it if you're on your computer right now but i'm going to show you how to initialize this array uh to a specific uh, to a particular pattern so for example i'll say for let's say i equal i'll start by i equal for example let me take i equal zero then so after doing this i'll just do um array that i'm still using i'm still not using the braces in this case because i am uh, initializing i am just placing one statement after the for loop here okay so we are going to set we are going to set this to even number so the formula will just be two plus times uh i then semicolon semicolon you close times i so i'm just from initializing this uh, to a particular person that has the multiples of two or uh, even numbers and then if i build this and run it so we are going to see that the array has been set two four six uh two four six eight ten up to twenty at the nine and now let's assume i don't want to print this element at the in this i want to print it as perhaps the user wants to see not the array element meaning uh, i want the elements to start with uh, one two three to ten elements because the size of the array is ten even though the program the array starts with the zeroth element so to do this is very simple just get here and add a one when we build and run this so as you can see the elements are from 1 to 10 and the values from 2 to 20 so thank you for watching this video thank you for watching may god be your guide please like and subscribe this video if it's helpful